video we are going to solve a problem on how to determine the transfer function of a system whose signal flow graph is given to us so let's see a problem So this is the signal flow graph of the system and for this system we have to find out the transfer function that is the ratio of CS by RS. CS is here that is the output sorry we, I have made the wrong arrow it is this this is CS and it is the input RS okay. So, we have to find out the ratio of CS by RS. Now, let's solve this problem. So, to find out the transfer function from a signal flow graph, we will use the Messon's gain formula. So, what is this formula? This formula states that the transfer function of a system, it is given by the summation of PK del K, where K is from 1 to K divided by del. Okay. So, here we can, with the help of this Messon's gain formula, we can find out the transfer function of the system. So, let's first find out, that is the step 1. We have to find out the forward path in this system. So forward path is a path which starts from or originates from a source node that is the input node and terminates at the output node or the sync node. Here we have RS as the input node and CS as the output node. So the path which starts from this input node to the output node, it is only this. There is no any other path and the gain of this path is let it be P1 and the gain is 1. Okay. Now for this forward path, we will have to find out the del 1 that is the graph determinant and uh, determinant and it is given by 1 minus the loops which are not touching this forward path. So what are those loops? We have G3 minus H3 as our one loop and then we have G2, G3 and minus H2 as our another loop because loop is a path which is starting from a node and terminating at the same node. So this loop it is starting from this node and terminating it also on the same node and here also G2, G3 and minus H2 starting from a node and terminating at the same node. We also have this G1 minus H1 as a loop but this loop is touching this forward path. These two loops are not touching because they are not having any common node. And G1 minus H1 because it is having a common node with this forward path. So it will be the touching loop. So non-touching loops are G3 minus H3. And we have G2, G3 minus H2. So del 1 will be 1 plus G3H3 plus G2G3 
H2. Okay. So this is our step one. Now step number two. Is to find out the del. And what is del? It is 1 minus sum of all the individual loops. Gain of all the individual loops. So we have 3 loops. So we will take their gain. So we will have. Let's see. First loop is G3 minus H3. So it is minus G3 H3. Then we have G2 G3 minus H2. So we have G2 G3 and H2. Then we have G1 minus H1. Here we have G1 and H1 also. So we will have minus G1 H1. Okay. So this is the sum of the gain of all the individual loops. Now plus we have. Then we will have the sum of the gain of the pairs of non-touching loop. So if you see here. If uh, this loop. 3 that is G1 minus H1 and G3 minus H3 they are forming a pair of the non-touching loops. So if we take their gains then we will have minus G3 H3 and minus G1 H1 so it will become G1 G3 H1 H3. So it is the pair of non-touching loops. These loops Third and second, they are touching each other and also one and two, they are also touching each other. So, we have only one pair of non-touching loops. We don't have any triplet here. So, determinant will be this. Now, in step number three, we will put the values of the forward parts and the del in the Mason's gain formula, which is So let's put the values we will have forward part we have only one so we will take P1 del 1 upon del. So P1 was 1 and del 1 was 1 plus G3 H3 plus G2 G3 H2 and del we have 1 minus minus G3 H3. So our overall transfer function that is the ratio of CS by RS which we have to calculate find out in the question. So it is given by 1 plus So this is the overall transfer function of the system. And we have find out the ratio by using the Mason's gain formula. So this is our answer. I hope you have clearly understood the problem. Thank you.